What's going on, guys? Seth and Shep here. We just watched episode 12 and the finale of this season of season one, Solo Leveling. Uh, we'll be going full spoilers ahead, so hopefully you've watched this season and this episode because uh, it was a good one. And uh, we'll do a real quick, real quick recap, um, pretty quick because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we continue um, from the last episode where uh, Jin Wu was surviving this endless uh, siege of enemies and uh he's doing it again here he's fighting he's uh slowly uh you know losing energy running out of you know fatigue he's just going he's hurting his fists punching um armor and uh he has his past self um kind of um what's the word i'm looking for taunting him almost um i was gonna say berating but yeah yeah um and then he gets saved by a um, uh, daily ex machina. He didn't do his daily, so he gets transported out of this instance uh, to basically get punished in the trial. Uh, he has to survive like he has before, and uh, he goes and does that. Uh, we get a couple blips throughout the episode. I'm not going to go into it every single time it happens. So a couple blips in this episode of the Juju Island thing happening that we still don't have full information on outside of there's been multiple raids there um, in the past. People who have survived that uh, have been affected negatively by that. Of course, they keep talking about it. They're sending people now um, and those people get sent in. Uh, one of the guilds um, goes there and uh, there's an interesting end uh, credits uh, scene that uh, hopefully you guys saw, but basically they say that the monsters there are evolving, but to us who haven't really that's not the main story it doesn't doesn't really do much for us but anyway uh we go back uh jin Wu uh finishes his um um i can't think of the punishment. word punishment um and while he has the time to uh, be out of the instance that he can't use certain things he heals up he goes into store he buys was that dagger or uh, no no he bought uh that ability what did no, he buy? No, no. He bought the dagger. The yeah. ability was from beating Acris. And he decided to go ahead and use it. The so one where he can pull things? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's what he was talking about now. Um, I guess he only mentioned in the last episode. He didn't really dive into it. He, he said he'd look into it later. He was too busy fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, he looks into that. He can pull things, but he can't pull certain things at certain weights. So it's you know low level at this time. And he has a dagger. He ends up getting put back into the endurance trial. That was the word I was looking for earlier, endurance. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, he goes back to fighting. He's refreshed. His blade is cutting through things. Um, he's doing well, but he's also noticing he's not getting XP. I've experienced that a million times in this exact same situation in many games. Um, and uh, when you notice that, you're like, okay, why is that? Uh, he notices that uh, basically necromancers or casters are pulling in all the enemies from portals. So he starts targeting them. So it's killing those, eventually beats the trial, and um, he is allowed to uh, move forward with his new class. He finds out that his class is predetermined based off of uh, what, how he fought or how, what the decisions he's been making. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he turns into, uh, well, he gets the choice to turn into a necromancer, which I was not uh, predicting that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so he thinks about it. He, uh, he ends up deciding to do it. He hits yes. And uh, he turns into a necromancer. He gets some spells from that. I don't remember all the names of them, but necromancer stuff. And he finds out that uh, he can raise um, an army. Uh, of dead things uh, he looks around he sees all the guys he had fought before and now he has the ability to res them and uh, he does that he brings some back um, and uh, then he thinks about uh, e egress uh, the red or blood blood what the fuck was her name I can't remember. blood red um, and he's like if I can raise these people maybe I can raise um, them so he goes over their higher level he only has three attempts so he tries all three on the third one he does uh get them to join his army in a big epic scene um where we are getting some uh not quite exposition but just kind of a talk of like if they are going to defeat uh you know the threat that's coming people have to be able to exceed and reawaken um because they're just stagnant. They're staying at their levels right now, and it's not enough. So uh, while he's talking about that, um, we end the episode uh, with Jin Wu raising an army. He is able to make an army now, and he has uh, the person that gave him a really good challenge that was 
more powerful than him technically uh, is now working uh, under him um, as far as we know because this is the end of the season so what a cliffhanger um, and then yeah that after credit scene which uh, was interesting that they did it but didn't really mean a whole lot outside of that threat is evolving but we haven't really been seeing a whole lot of it so we'll see where that goes so yeah uh, Jinwoo can have an army now which is kind of wild because he's already powerful enough and now he uh, will still be solo leveling but now he won't be doing it alone so very interesting uh, what do we think um, I also think it's worth noting that they did announce season 2 already so uh, that is in the works as in the comments said peak has been announced peak season 2 has been announced uh, every anime has got someone who's a fan of it calling it peak so um, it's all peak dude <laughs> It was a pretty okay episode, actually. I uh, I think it was probably uh, not as exciting as the last episode. Yeah. Um, uh, mostly because I kind of got pulled out of it by the and you used the term I was going to use the uh, ex machina um, that happened. It was really convenient. It was pretty cheesy, to be yeah. honest. But whatever, I can look past it. Yeah. Um, the uh, the choice in job was interesting. I, I was not expecting Necromancer, uh, though I'm not against it. I kind of like the idea that even though he's so combat and stealth focused, um, that he's kind of like, even he kind of says it because he initially like denies. He's like, no, I don't want the job. And the, the system mm-hmm. basically is like, hey, this is like a hidden class. Are you sure? And then he kind of thinks about it. He's like, well, there's not really a rule that says that you have to be an intelligence based Necromancer. And so he decides to take it. So um, that twist was kind of nice. Um, because I, I, I kind of like the idea that he could still be a melee dude who uh, practices uh, necromancy. Yeah, he's basically just now a general of an army. Yeah, and I guess he's not a necromancer anymore. He had enough bonus points to go into an advanced job, yeah. but I forgot the name of it. It's basically an advanced necromancer, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, because the system, in a lot of very fast, hard-to-read words... Um, basically said you played on hard mode here's some bonus points yeah there was a sequence where it was like it would blip words and then they'd disappear and it'd blip more bloop 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 and like we had to go back and i was like clicking and pausing just so we could read them i'm like dude slow it down so fast yeah. so um and i can read pretty quick so yeah. it's pretty crazy uh yeah other than that you know we just got more of the the big event from the first episode that keeps carrying into the episode as breadcrumbs constantly. I'm sure it's eventually going to interact with our main character, but it, right now it's just such small amounts of time that it's kind of hard to care. Um, well, there's a growing and now evolving threat that has all the guilds afraid, and it's going to take Jin Wu ever leveling with his army of darkness and any other awakened people they might find to, eventually to so. defeat that menace. Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as the season finale goes, it was okay. I actually, like I said, I think the last episode was a little more like hype, but um, this was fine for a finale. They did have an end point that also kind of gives a little bit of like uh, lingering ness to it. I, I don't know what I'm looking for right now, but like he just unlocked new abilities, and now mm-hmm. we have to wait for him to use them. So. And he's got a whole army, and yeah. I'm really curious to see how his dynamic changes with people fighting with him now because mm-hmm. um, he's just been doing things on his own lately. Even when he's been working without kid, no one's helping him. He's doing all the work fighting. Meal. Yeah. So now that he has, uh, you know, basically like in every anime, a squad of people to fight. Um, that's going to be really interesting to see. Or the way they were, um, it may sound like they're basically Pokemon. You yeah. Just capture them and use them later. Yeah. So, so yeah, now when he defeats people, he can have them join his team. Yeah. So, which will make things really interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much my thoughts. This is a very straightforward episode. Um, the only part I didn't like was, and it wasn't that I didn't like it as much as it was just way too convenient, but his penalty running up so he could heal uh, and get a weapon was whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the drama they tried to build up uh, similar to the first time he had basically died um, which was a lot more dramatic um, in the beginning of the show. I don't think this uh, had the same uh, impact. Not that it has to, but yeah. it it did feel a little deflated. So I'm like, he's fine. Like he's something's gonna happen, and then he got teleported or whatever. And I don't think it's necessarily like something worth complaining about. It's just yeah, I uh, I was like, eh, really, that's how we're gonna go about doing it. But it's fine. It, it works within sure. the confines of the story and how the world works because that was going to happen. He said early in the last episode that he hadn't done his daily. So 
it's you know gonna do something if he doesn't do it um same when i use duolingo and it's like you better get these you better do this lesson today otherwise you're gonna lose your streak and then i lose my string it's like oh we froze it though but we took some of your points i'm like fuck um anyway uh episode's cool i liked it I thought the action sequences were done uh, well. They weren't exciting because it was just him slashing through Trash people, mobs, yeah. but it looked good. So I'll give him that for sure. Uh, there's some cool, like, single, not really shots, but like um, of him sequences. just going through people and chopping them up, and that looked really cool. Um, some of the tidbits outside of this, even though they're still kind of vague and not really giving us much i thought we're a little more interesting and insightful than normal because i felt like we're slowly finally getting to where this is building to uh when it comes to the other guilds and this juju island that you know we only saw a little bit from the beginning and now it's just been talked about since um it's like is that the source of everything like because they keep raiding it um i think it's just the only one they haven't been able to actually close yeah it's just interesting how there's so much like I feel like there's gonna be a whole season where they're gonna be it's gonna be uh, um, Hell's Paradise. It's gonna be the Juju Island uh, arc. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I feel like that's coming. Like I feel like that's gonna be a whole thing. He's gonna bring his army and they're gonna. But anyway, I don't know, and I don't want to know. If you know the spoilers, yeah, please. please don't. Um, but yeah, uh, my favorite part of the episode though was where he got to make some decisions, kind of on being a necromancer. Uh, that was interesting. It was a genuine surprise. I was not guessing. You know, I'm very familiar. We're both very familiar with video games and classes. That was not on my, you know, top three to top five uh, things I thought they're going to go with. I thought it was going to be some kind of assassin type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm glad that they did something that changes it up. Although this is adding a whole new uh, realm of um, um, ability that uh, will make him even more powerful than just being extra better assassin or extra better warrior um you know how much stealth more does he need but having an army makes sense because you know now when uh homeboy's brother comes to attack him at some point he'll have he'll have friends right. so um and you know at that point i'm sure the power levels will have risen but you know egress was pretty powerful so that's a good ally to have and they looked cool when they got res True. so um and it was a cool sequence. That was probably one of my favorite sequences was was the end of the episode where it was building up to that. But then we get the cliffhanger of like, all right, wait till next season to find out what any of this means. Yeah. Um, yeah, overall, it was a solid episode. Wasn't the big finale I was hoping for, but it was a good finale and definitely a cliffhanger worth anticipating the next season for, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I liked it. And since this is the last episode of the season, we're going to grade it the first season. This is just basically our impressions of that season and doesn't dictate the whole story and every season from that, just this one alone. What would you grade the whole season? I'm trying to convert, because I just got done rating it on uh, all my tracking websites. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to convert that to what that would be in a grade. I, uh, I, I'm i going to go with B+, because um, I rated it a 7 out of 10 on mm. most of those sites. So um, It was good, for sure. Um, I do think it could be better in a lot of ways, and yep. mostly in the story department. Yep. And obviously, it doesn't have to be that. I can enjoy, I mean, I can enjoy a three out of 10 show, but um, that's sure. A, but uh, realistically, there are things I, I want from the show that I'm not getting from it, uh, though it is a fun and entertaining time. And I am invested on, like, you know, a lot of the drama points that have been brought up, especially in the later half of this, the season, um, like with the brother and then the, the, the new friend basically is made where they're trying to make a guild, but that's also like behind the back of his family. Who's also trying to make a guild. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's just a lot of little pieces that have happened that I have a lot of interest in seeing where those conclude to. Yeah. So, um, which is a good thing. Cause if I don't care, then what's the point of watching it? So, but yeah, I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to the next season. I think B plus about as high as I can go though. Yeah. I'm going to also go with a B plus. I couldn't go a right now. I'm not, um, super, in love with the show but i do like it for sure um and it's definitely you know better than some of the prior shows we've reviewed uh like um 
you know, season one of uh, Hell's Paradise was was fine, but it definitely left something to be desired uh, and did get better towards the end. But there's a long slog. The show, since the first episode, has been entertaining yeah. um, and never felt there was never an episode where I was like, man, we're, you're really wasting our time here. Um, it's done a good job at staying entertaining. And so that's that's good. Um, story has gotten more interesting, but definitely. on a gradual way, um, we haven't had any big thing like i think you know one of the biggest events in the show is like the very beginning uh the rest of it is 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 kind of just uh you know his journey of this solo leveling and Mm -hmm. and a lot of um little paths that are being introduced without taking them and so um this season similar to jjk not saying they're the same but jjk season one didn't mean as much to me uh, until season two uh made things um more complete for Even me. Even the movie made it more complete. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just needed more. They had a lot of foresight on where things were going that they were confident. They put it out. They're like, enjoy the stylistic cool stuff, but the real meat of this will come later. Mm-hmm. And they did. They fulfilled that. Um, so hopefully this will do the same. But as of right now, I feel similar, but a little more confident because this show is kind of transparent and just being like, oh, it's, definitely. It's, it's a video game that he's in and it's got action. Um, and you know he's leveling. That's fun, and I've been enjoying it. So it's 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 been purely entertaining. Um, but yeah, no like no super investment in it just yet. But it could change. So B plus, feel good with that. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'll definitely want to watch season two. I, I liked what I watched here. So um, it's uh, creative in a lot of ways when it comes to the whole he's in a video game thing. So yeah. Um, anything else? Nope. I think that's it. All right. Well, let us know in the comments what you guys think of this episode and this season. What were the biggest highlights for you? Uh, what you like? What didn't you like? If you have any complaints, what are you hoping for in season two? Unless you know, please no spoilers. And um, yeah, let me know everything you're thinking about when it comes to solo leveling season one all over and uh, give it a grade if you want to. Um, and yeah, uh, stay tuned. We just did a review for Delicious and Dungeon. You've been following that. That is continuing. It's on its 13th episode, and uh, it was a good one. So check out our review. Watch that episode, obviously, reverse order. And uh, we'll be doing Demon Slayer when that happens. Uh, we are planning on checking out Sandland. Um, we do want to finish Ten Goku. And if you guys have recommendations, of course, let us know in the comments below. I've been Seth. This has been Chevy. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.